So here at the Big Ball Vlog, Big Ball Shooting, Big Ball Entertainment overall channel, you know, the nation's bringing you the deals and I thought I would talk about self-defense ammunition. How's it going everybody? It's your boy Big Ball Vlogs, Big Ball Shooting, Big Ball Entertainment overall and today I'm at the range. I ain't been on the pistol side for like three months. I've been on the long range side but I thought I would come out and talk about self-defense ammunition. Um, like I said, Denisha is bringing you the deals and here at the channel, I mean usually I try to find something that's inexpensive and bring that deal onto you and hopefully save you a couple bucks in the long run. And self-defense ammunition is one of those things that I feel like, you know, you could save a lot of money on if you, you know, find the right deal and, you know, find the right ammunition. So for me, just to give you a little bit of background, self-defense ammunition um, to me is, you know, I'm not, I'm not a, you know, a brand whore. So I'm going to go with something that I know is reliable. I'm going to go with something I know works with the gun. And I'm also going to buy enough of it so that I can actually train with it and know how it's going to respond when I'm actually needing to use it. Right. So everything about shooting is consistency. And with self-defense ammunition, you know, usually you get a little box like this, with like 20 rounds in it. And some of us will get it and load it up in our, 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 our carry gun or our, our, our nightstand gun and never, ever shoot it. In fact, for me personally, I will like swap out self-defense ammunition about maybe once a year. But some of us will just put in a gun and never shoot it. Now, the thing about that is, is that when you get out to the range and you're shooting an ammo that's super hot, like a plus P self-defense ammunition, or you're shooting a round that you just don't know about. Like, for instance, these I've never shot in my life. Um, this is a 108 grain 9 millimeter. You might not be happy with the results when you pull this out to defend yourself, just to defend your life with it. So when it comes to self-defense ammunition, usually I'm looking for something that is a deal because I know what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for something crazy. You know, I've, I've tried all of them. I don't know. I, I don't have any real world experience with it. I know a lot of guys have done you know, a lot of reviews, a lot of like uh, ballistics tests and showed you, you know, lethality and the cavity that it creates. What I want is something that's going to expand pretty good. It's going to be hollow point. It's going to be in the caliper and grain that I like to shoot. So for now, I'm going to shooting two different types of ammunition I picked up. And I picked these up off of Palmetto State Armory because they were on sale. And I bought several boxes because, like, again, I want to be able to get it. I want to train with it. I want to know if I like it or not. And Palmetto State Armory is, like, they always carry this uh, Sierra Match. Well, this is actually the Sierra Master, Sport Master. And this is, like, $7.99 a box for, like, 20 rounds. And then I picked up this, which is this uh, MHP, this Monolithic Hollow Point, which I would really love to see one of those expand in real life, like in maybe a bucket of water. I picked up a bucket of these, I mean a box of these because I wanted to see, you know, how they run. Um, I'm using 115, I don't like 124, you know, 115 for me, but I mean, this is a 108. So I bought a few boxes of this, I bought a few boxes of the uh, Sierra Sport Master and newbie mistake, I forgot, um, some of the Sierra, I think they're called Outdoor Master, which to be honest with you, I don't know what the difference, I just looked at the difference, the hollow points a little bit different, I don't know if the expense is a little bit different, um, I don't have any data on it, but they're about the same price, they're about $9.99, $7.99, $9.99, I don't know. So, with that said, um, the thing that I would like to recommend if you're going to be using any firearm in a self-defense situation is... Like I said, with consistency, you're going to have to get on the range. You're going to have to use that one gun that, you know, that you carry all the time and you're going to have to shoot the ammo out of it. So imagine, you know, some of the self-defense ammunition out there, the prices have gone way up. I remember back in the day, I used to be able to buy a box of self-defense ammunition for this price. But a lot of that stuff is like, I mean, I've seen it going for like 30 or $40 a box for 20 rounds, right? So that's extremely high. It's not something that you're going to get in the range. You're not going to run thousands of rounds of it. You know, I got thousands of rounds of ball 15 laying around, but I don't have thousands of rounds of this. But I carry it. I put. I, I shoot these out of my carry specific gun, and for me, pretty much all of my guns are Glock 19. So, I mean, I do have a couple, but I know what I'm going to be shooting out of. I know all the sights. I know all the sight pictures, and I just need to figure out which one I'm going to put in the gun. So, like I said, I went out to Palmetto State Army. I bought about I don't know three or four boxes of each, just to play around with them, see if I like them. And if I like them, I'm probably going to go back and pick up several more boxes because at $7.99 a piece, $8.99 a piece, you can't beat that for a self defense ammunition. So. This is probably going to be a very, very short video. Um, I really didn't want to get out here and do, like I said, a, a, a shot comparison. You know, I, had, I actually created some ballistic jelly. I created, I actually made some ballistic jelly. And um, I made it out of gelatin. I made it like DIY. I was going to do a whole video on DIY ballistic jelly. And I left it out and it pretty much molded. Like uh, it, it, it grew legs and almost walked away. So I don't have that anymore. 
I don't have anything to compare, you know, expansion or anything, but I'm pretty sure there's plenty of other guys out here on YouTube that are doing, you know, comparisons of all the different ammunition. But the first one I'm going to try out is this one. This is a Sierra Sportmaster. I only got 20 minutes, so I'm going to just run this real quick. This is a Sierra Sportmaster. It's got a pretty big hollow foot tip in that one. And like I said, the difference between this one and the Sierra Outdoor Master was the um, shape of the hollow tip. This is 115 grain um, without critiquing Sierra because I hear like a lot of people talk about the ammunition, how great it is. This was a full box. I got about, I don't know, 15 rounds in one of my other uh, self-defense magazines at the home. And I brought the last five that weren't here and I got what they call a, a snap cap. This was missing the primer. So first off, out of the box, I've never bought a box of ammunition that had a missing primer. I'm pretty sure if you shoot thousands of rounds, like I said, I got at least 2,000 rounds of 9 millimeter. Some are, uh, what do you call them, uh, reloads some of them are brand new factory ammunition never had a round that was missing the primer and i was curious where all the powder was coming from when i opened this box and as i pulled this out of the box they're gonna say hey i want to test this out i felt i saw i didn't see it because but there is a primer missing from this box so looking at the reviews on palmetto state army a lot of guys said that these were you know excellent rounds they said that you know there was nothing wrong with them they liked them you know no problems at all for the price how can you go wrong um I am now shooting this out of my Glock 19. Um, if you guys haven't been around on the channel for a while, this is my Glock 19 Gen 2. Like it, like I bought this when I was 21 years old. Doesn't even have a rail on it. It's been my range gone, my play around with gone, my training gone because I don't really care. It's beat up a little bit, but you know I did my own stippling job on it. But this gun has never given me a problem ever, ever many times ever i've never ever having a problem with it so if anything this gun is going to probably fail off of the ammunition and not because of the gun itself so that's why i'm using this one I, you guys may have seen my other videos where i had a palmetto state dagger build that i put together with an aftermarket lower and a palmetto state dagger upper and had a problem with that like for the, for the, for the first month i've also got another gun where you saw it, it uh kind of went uh semi uh binary on me or full binary on me um, this one, this, I know this one runs, so we're going to run this gun. I'm only going to run a couple rounds. Like I said, I got 20 rounds. I got 20 minutes before this ra uh, range closes. And I want to just get you know, a couple rounds to it while I'm talking, you know, talking about ammunition. So even with self-defense ammunition, like I said, you want to get ammunition that you're going to be able to afford and be able to come out here and train with. Like I said, I buy thousands of rounds of anything because at the end of the day, if I'm putting thousands of rounds down range, I'm going to be more consistent with it on the, with the weapon system, you know, with the sight picture. You know, I generally don't run my red dot. I do have it on there because my vision is a little bit different over the time now i'm getting a little bit older my vision's a little bit different and if i ain't got the these big dot sights on there sometimes it's hard to pick up the sight picture but like i said all i want to do is see what like five rounds i mean i'm even using the the original gen 1 magazine that came or gen 2 magazine that came with this with the aftermarket base plate and the only thing that is aftermarket about this is i got it cut and machined and put some aftermarket uh big dot sights on it but everything about this gun is factory i'm not going to be using red dot i just want to run five rounds to it I'm going to keep those five round cycles through this gun without any issues. If that is the case, if I have no issues, I'll probably bring another box out down the line and run a whole 20 box to it and see if anything happens. And if I can control it, I like it. It's self-defense. It's seven dollars, seven dollars, seven dollars a box. I'm going to go buy, you know, I don't know, 10 more boxes just so I have it on hand because, again, I want to be able to train with the ammunition I'm going to use for self-defense. There's something different about training for self-defense than training for just marksmanship. If you're just training for marksmanship, use whatever, you know what I mean? Some re reliable ammunition. But if you're training for self-defense, you want the ammo that you're going to use in the gun that you're going to use. And that's where I'm you know, getting at right now. So we're going to just load this up real quick. We're going to take a couple shots and see how this ammunition runs. In fact, let's see, because the uh, sun's right in my face. Okay. Shooting a little bit left, but uh, all right, was that five? Oh, that was actually four. I forgot I had a snap cap, so four rounds, no problems at all. Uh, take a quick look at the shots there, aiming at the center target. I'm about you know five yards away. Let's see what I got. One second here, all right, four rounds, five yards away, all seem to be doing a really good job. and those are some pretty big marks on those uh, splatter targets there. So expansion probably didn't expand hitting that target at all, but I'll take it. Like I said, it runs. All right. So box number two, like I said, I have also the Sierra Outdoor Master. I got to look it up to see what the difference is between those two rounds, by the way, because I, I really don't know. Um, no problems at all. Definitely probably something I'm going to go pick up a lot more of that. Like I said, that uh, 
$7.99 and $8.99 and $9.99 a box. Why not, right? Because like I said, when you got to get out here and you got to train, you don't want anything that's going to be super expensive. So what we're looking at right now is um, this uh, MHP, monolithic hollow point. Um, Norma, probably ballistic, tip on it. It's got this crazy expansion that, it, it, like, if you look at the box, it's got a crazy wide expansion. Like, I mean, I would love, I got to go actually look up YouTube videos on this to see if that, like, literally just blows apart a block of ballistics gel. But these are running um, at 1312, 1312 feet per second. 413 foot pounds of energy are going to be delivered to that target. And they are 108 grain. So it's a light bullet. Um, again, I don't know how it's going to shoot. So if I shoot like shit, hard me because i've never shot them before um but i'm gonna run about five of them they got a crazy tip on them though like they really look like they're made out of like uh i don't know they're not brass covered they're like silver and they look like they just smashed up lead it's just got a crazy a crazy crazy tip on it let me see if i can get that to focus so you got these flat spots on it and then the tip itself is really tight but you can see how it's kind of like cut to a to flower out really wide at a uh, 113 uh, what, 1,312 feet per second. Um, curious whether or not these are going to flower out before they hit this target. Probably not at this distance. Um, but again, um, I want to see how they shoot. One of the feedback that I saw on the Palmetto State Armory um, website is that this tip itself, the design of this tip, is longer. And people were having trouble ejecting it from the, from the gun like after, like if they don't want to shoot it. They're just ejecting a live round. Because it's so long, it didn't eject out of uh, uh, some guns. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's going to happen in the Glock. I don't know gun, what gun they were shooting. But we're going to try out the Glock and see if that's a problem. In fact, before I even do that, I'm going to put one in. I'm going to see if there's any problem manually ejecting this thing or racking it out. Doesn't look like it sticks out that far. I mean, there's, there's not a lot of space between the, the, the tip of that round and, and, the, um, and the magazine. But it doesn't look like there's any problems there. As far as the rack in, no problems at all. It went in and it came out. And, um, yeah, maybe I should have some safety glasses on. Pause. All right. So in the interest of uh, firearm safety, always remember to protect your eyes. I've had uh, hot rounds do what you just saw a cold round do. Went up over top of the safety glasses and uh, pretty much got caught behind them and got stuck there and burned. Put a little black eye under my eye, burned the hell out of me. So for that purpose, I usually use a a brim, a ball cap to catch, keep rounds from coming back and dropping down over top of the safety glasses. But, you know, like I said, I had 20 minutes. I came out here and uh, forgot. I usually I'm having, I have on my reading glasses, but sights, like I said, with the sights, shooting iron sights, I don't use my reading glasses. So we're going to load up uh, five more of these. These are the uh, MHP, monolithic Norma tips, 108 grains. And we're going to see how these shoot. We're going to try to control these a little bit too, because that last one, uh, that last set of uh, rounds, I just, you know, was aiming for the big target, which is probably about a three inch oval in the center. I want to aim for one of the smaller targets and want to see whether or not these actually have a different feel or kick to them. So no problem ejecting them or racking them in. Okay. Actually, I don't really feel anything different. I didn't feel any muzzle flip or anything different from that. I'm going to step back a little bit because I don't know if I was in frame the last time. Shooting at like a two-inch target, five-yard line. Three shots, three hits. It looks like it, unless I'm seeing double vision. Okay, shot it again. Okay, I can't really see it. Now. Let's see. It's a fish shot. Okay, I think I said five shots, five hits, and to be honest with you, between a 115 and a 108, I didn't feel it. I don't have any more 115s. That's a lie. Actually, I do. I have some regular standard 150 grain, 115 grain lasers here. So we're going to try that one more time. I'm going to put one more round through it. I'm going to go back to back. I'm going to See if I can feel the difference. Let's see if I can feel the difference in them. Again, another newbie mistake, dropping shit all over the place. All right.
All right. So I think I got a live one down here somewhere because oh, there's another one. I only shot five. And I dropped it, but I'll find that in a minute. Hopefully. Just grab another one. All right. So back to back, I'm going to go with a 115 first, and then I'll go with this 108 next and see if I can feel anything different. Then we'll take a look at those hits. Oh, you're going to pull it down? Whatever. You want to take your five and then... Actually, I'm going to take two. Okay. So All right. Two, okay. Range safety, guys. I want to make sure that I'm not having everybody down range, but I want to take these two shots. One is a 108, one's a 115. Don't feel it. No difference at all. So, yeah, if I had to go out and use them, now I know you guys got it. If I got to go out and I use them, I got to use them because I am so used to using the 115. I do know that these 108s are not going to cause any difference in my shot or my shot placement. So take a quick look at that. I know I am. I see double vision actually without my glasses on. So this hopefully doesn't look that bad. All right. So first uh, five shots were on the left target. I think I got five for five on that. One, two, three, four, five. And then the last two were on the head target there, um, and they want left and right. So yeah, um, like I said, if the uh, there's there's the round. So if there is, uh, if you have a need to buy some self defense ammunition, again, do your own research. Take my advice with a grain of salt. Palmetto State Armory regularly has this brand or these brands of ammunition in in, in say, on sale or in inventory. For about $7.99 a box. At $7.99 a box, if you buy two boxes, you're up to 40 rounds. And like I said, ammo is really expensive these days. These days, um, I, I would buy it just to you know, stockpile it, especially if you're running something like uh, if I'm running my uh, my AR9 PCC. I mean, it, it, it eats ammunition. It is eats it and spits it out. And especially if you got a, that's why I don't even bring a whole ammo can anymore because I'll go through four or 500 rounds and not even count them. Right. So if you're interested in picking up some ammunition to train with to have as a self-defense ammunition, do your research on, like I said, the things that matter to you, lethality, accuracy. You know, I'm shooting at two and a half inch targets right here, two inch targets, if not, you know, and, and I'm hitting good hits without my glasses, without the red dot. Um, you know, I think it's a good deal. So with that said, I think it's time to wrap it up. I don't know. I think it's after two. I don't know what the range time is. I think it's springtime. The range time extends a little bit. But um, hey. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the channel. Support the channel. I'll get back to you later.